Like many welding processes, the handheld laser requires shielding gas. If you're welding on steel or stainless steel, you're going to typically choose nitrogen. If you're welding aluminum, you're going to choose argon. Now you may wonder what the function is of the shielding gas. It does two things for you. One is it protects your welding pool and provides you the welding characteristics that you're looking for. But also importantly, the second piece is it prevents contamination or debris from coming up the barrel of the torch and accumulating on the lenses up in the head of the torch. Let's go ahead and set this up for welding. First step is going to be turn our shielding gas on, turn the tank on. And then we're going to increase our pressure on our regulator until the green light is illuminated. Now we want to check our uh, operating pressure by squeezing the first stage trigger on the back of the torch. If the light on the front of the system is flashing, we simply increase our pressure until that light stays illuminated continuously. Now we know that we are ready for welding. For more information on how to properly set up your system, visit millerwelds.com slash optics.